Hello, everybody. Uh, great to be tuned to you here. Look, the first of the of the PPC pivot theory points uh, is traffic, and um, of course, we all know about traffic. And and without uh, having traffic, uh, people coming to look at our offers or our sites, etc., uh, the chances of um, of creating a uh, a good conversion and creating money profits are pretty pretty remote. So we've got to really look at this this aspect here of traffic. Basic stuff, as Jay said, uh, nothing new here. But as he said, it's the way that these simple little things uh, combine with one another and uh, create a rather explosive uh, result. So firstly, it's traffic. Secondly, then we, we like to focus in on conversions and just making a small improvement. If we can make a little improvement in the traffic that we're getting and uh, then, of course, get an improvement in regard to the conversions that we're generating out there, uh, all of a sudden, uh, our, our profits don't double. I mean, I thought the one plus one equals two, but when you actually look at this at this theory under the microscope, uh, you get a little little bit of a breakthrough in one area, then you get a breakthrough in conversions, and uh, all of a the sudden, there is a, a quadrupling of profitability. And uh, then, of course, you know, we add to that the lifetime customer value. And so when you put all of this together, uh, you get a very, very uh, explosive program, and, and, and it's very, very simple. And, and I find I'm always looking for the, you know, the next big thing, but this program here is certainly very, very powerful in that small improvements in, in, in each of these areas uh, can create a rather, a rather dramatic effect. Now, I just want to give you a bit of a before and after, if I can, just to show you how that this actually applies and, and in your opportunities and the offers that you're promoting via CPA, etc., uh, I'm sure that, that uh, you'll be able to align with these ideas and just see how that you could be, you know, fairly profitable at the moment. But but by tweaking and, and focusing in on these important areas, uh, you may be able to uh, to improve and and create a, a compound of profitability uh, just by focusing on some simple things. And and uh, when we have a look at, for example, you know, an affiliate offer, um, we could say that perhaps. Just for this example in this exercise, as far as traffic goes, uh, you're buying 200 clicks at 50 cents a click. So we have a look at that, and that's how we generate our traffic. And so that's part A, if you will, of the of the pivot theory, traffic. So we're pulling our traffic here from pay per click. In in this example, affiliate offer, uh, if we had 200 clicks with a 1% conversion rate, well then of course we'd be making just two sales. Uh, which is nothing dynamic, but uh, it's it, it's better than nothing. And then, of course, if we were to say that the sales were at forty-five dollars each, uh, we'd be making ninety dollars. And uh, but when you put this whole process together and have a look at, at what you're paying on the pay-per-click, unfortunately, in this uh, in this uh, scenario, and this is a very real scenario for many people out there, we're losing ten dollars a day, three hundred dollars a month. Uh, or thirty six hundred and fifty dollars a year uh, in this in this scenario, which is not a good way to run a business. So, what happens here is we we tend to throw in the towel and cash in our chips and move on to something else, which is understandable. But, but when we actually go to work on on just making a few small improvements, let's have a look at this together. If we're looking at uh, at, at at doubling doubling the amount of clicks, but not paying any more. Now, we can do that by making our, our ads more relevant. And I know that Jay is going to be jumping in very soon and, and uh, giving you some very real, high-value, uh, usable information that you, can, that you can actually apply to get these results. But all I'm trying to show you here is that these little improvements sort of uh, compound one on another to create great results. But let's say now that we could just double the amount of clicks that we were receiving in this example uh, offer that we're looking at together. And now, if we were able to make just a small improvement uh, in regard to conversion, and so in other words, if we moved up from 1% to 2%, how would we do that? Well, I know that Jay will give you some ideas on this. But all of a sudden, we'd be up to eight sales just by making some improvements here. And all of a sudden, you can see now uh, the, the the bottom line profitability of the, uh, of the operation is uh, certainly looking a lot more healthy now. Then, of course, the third uh, aspect of this pivot theory is the lifetime value. And so, of course, if we can somehow market to those people, to those existing customers, and promote to them uh, complementing products uh, over time, if we capitalise on that, many people never look at that. They they fail to to capitalise on the uh, 
on the repeat sale, so to speak, but just by doing that, have a look at what happens. Now that same affiliate offer that we were looking at together, all of a sudden, from losing about $3,000 a year, if we could make those three tweaks uh, in each of those pivot, pivot areas, the pivotal areas, I mean, they, they make or break uh, a business. So, you know, if we can, if we can align those areas of our, of our venture, all of a sudden we've been making 400 a day, $12,000 a month, and uh, $146,000 a year. And uh, all of a sudden, if we, we see by focusing just on traffic, by making a small improvement in the conversion rate, and then of course by bringing in the, the lifetime customer value, uh, we, we have quite an explosion of profitability as per this example as you can see. Now, let's just have a look at just a, a low performing website. Let's say in the second example now that you were buying 100 clicks uh, at 70 cents a click, and you were selling a product uh, that was worth $100, and you happen to convert just just one percent of your visitors. I know that's not very not very good, but but in some instances, I get it's better than better than nothing. You know, you got $100 minus the $70 in cost for your pay per click. In this example now, you'd be making $30 a day and 840 a month and $10,000 a year now. It's not a massive income, but that's better than a lot of a lot of examples out there. But you know, by focusing in once again on the on the traffic, by focusing again on the conversion rate, and by focusing once more on a little bit of lifetime customer value, uh, we can cause this profitability to grow exponentially. And this is what this is all I'm trying to show you at this point. Now, Jay, as I said, is going to going to give you a few ideas here soon to to actually implement what we're talking about. But um, Let's just have a look at this same second site now, if we were to make a few small improvements. And let me just, just throw in here, by the way, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of a, uh, of a group called Acuracast. Um, Acuracast is a, is a company out of the UK, and uh, they give some very, very interesting uh, information out there on pay-per-click, and uh, how that ads in different positions uh, certainly receive a lot more clicks uh, than ads uh, lower down, there's a disproportionate amount of traffic, if you will, uh, for the ads in the top positions. Now, I'll just see if I can blow this up a bit for you here. You see ads in position one uh, in the pay-per-click uh, side of, of, of marketing receive here about eight times the, 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 the uh, clicks there that, that ads in position four. Now, have a look at that if you get a chance. It's really good information, but, but on, this, on this graph here, You'll see that if you can get your pay-per-click ad up to position one, and they, these guys surveyed uh, in excess of 1.2 million clicks around the world, so they looked at it from every possible angle to find out uh, where your ad ranks, how how many clicks it's going to receive. But if you're in position one, you're getting you know eight times the amount of clicks that you would if you were in position five. And so one of the things that, that Jay will be sharing is just how to make a small improvement if you're currently. Uh, up at position five, for example, if you could move your ad up just just one spot to position four, uh, you'd be uh, you'd be basically doubling the amount of clicks. In, in other words, this first aspect, the the, the traffic area, uh, the traffic pivot. If you can double the amount of traffic, you're you're on your way to getting.